couple of things about what you just saw. Not enough air density coming off the turns. You see that black smoke? The turbos di didn't cut it. So we've developed a supercharged, turbocharged diesel engine. Supercharger, the turbocharger, those are density machines. They make more air density, more pounds per cubic foot of air. The intercooler in the nose of the vehicle does the same thing. It cools the air, makes it more dense. So what we're doing is we're also adding fuel energy because we're, we're doing a 50-50 mix of methanol and water, injecting it into the inlet of the supercharger to control the temperature out of the supercharger and into the turbocharger compressor. That's our first straight shot injection system. That's our name for these things. Once the, the air goes through the compressor, it goes up to the intercooler in the nose of the vehicle. To make the intercooler do more than normal, they're normally cooled by air running, rushing through them, outside air takes heat out of the boost air. What we're doing with this one is we have what we call an auto chiller. The auto chiller has five nozzles. It run, it's based on our computer controlled water methanol system, the straight shot system. But in this case, we leverage the straight shot to fog uh, distilled water onto the face of the intercooler and chill it down as the water evaporates. That's more power right there. Then once the air is all cooled and goes into the intake manifold, for additional power, we've got six injectors in the intake manifold. This is an inline six engine. So there's one in every intake port. This is what we call, we also make what we call a double shot and a triple shot. The triple shot is two pumps, six nozzles, and a lot of computer control. That happens in the intake manifold. So the overlay of the super turbo, the water methanol systems at the blower inlet and in the intake manifold, the auto chiller system cooling the intake uh, more in the intercooler than could, could normally be done, all adds to more speed. What about the brakes? Well. The brakes have been upgraded for this year, but still, last year that he lost the brakes and as a result, spun the truck. He still managed to break his own record, but he spun the truck. So this year, we are taking our straight shot system and using it as a four point brake cooling system. Whenever he's on the brakes, it will mist in the center of the rotor and out through the internal channels, air channels inside the brake rotor and cool the brake rotor while he's on it. Now you don't want to cool him too much. You know, the system wants to run nominally around 1,000, 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't want to be much below that, but we also don't want to be at 15 or 1,600 degrees. So there you've got it. You've got multiple bank straight shot systems doing multiple jobs on the same vehicle from power to, to chilling the intercooler to cooling the brake system. And it's all automatic, all runs off our microprocessor uh, based setup. Additionally, in the truck, we'll, we'll have a Banks IQ, which will have this basic screen on it. And what, what we got going on here is he will know his elevation He'll know his vehicle speed. He's never had this in the truck before. Uh, ultimately, this front end will control everything that's happening in the vehicle uh, in terms of engine management, uh, injection system management, boost control, all of that. So 
we're integrating the bank's IQ system into it as well.